But here God says that I'm also going to strengthen some things, even concerning, you know, the family with her, even with her brother. I don't know what's going on. There's some sister. Does she have a brother? He's, there's some there's some things going on. Do he, does she know something about his affairs or, or, or things like that? There's some things going on with her brother and some of his affairs. I want you as a daughter, just begin to um, get on the computer and look up some things. You're going to find some hidden property. You're going to find some property that he had. And I'm telling you, you know, it's going to be a blessing for your family. For your family. He had, he had some daughters? Two. Okay, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing two girls. There's some property is hidden, and I'm seeing two girls, but it's going to be favorable for them, but also for the whole family. I hear God saying, because there were some things that He was involved in that you guys don't know everything about. I want you just to begin to start going on the computer and start experimenting, because the Holy Spirit is going to bring, draw some things to you. You know, just like when we opened up. And we said that the Holy Spirit, how the Holy Spirit led Jesus into the desert. The Holy Spirit will lead you to your hidden treasures. Amen. The Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you to some things that, that are hidden for you. And all we have to do is be sensitive to the Spirit and when we follow Him. Well, how do you be sensitive to the Spirit? You be sensitive to the Spirit by getting quiet. Then when you get quiet, you begin to see images and you begin to, ideas begin to come to your mind and you begin to think about this and you begin to think about that. Follow what he shows you. Follow what you begin to think about. When you begin to give that thing attention and put your mind on it, you give that thing power. Whatever you give attention, you give that thing power. So as he starts dealing with you, because I know a lot of this is new for you, but it's your hunger and it's your thirst and it's your strength, but the Spirit is leading you and how God is guiding you and how he's directing you. So I don't want you to be concerned. I don't want you to be dismayed because I'm here to tell you that next year is going to be an awesome year for you. I see some things that have been hidden, literally turned upside down that are coming your way. It is going to be quite favorable, I hear God say. Quite favorable. So favorable. So don't you be concerned. Even concerned, I'm seeing also what God says. He's getting ready to bless you and add, um, I see like your wardrobe changing. Are you married? Okay, because I see your wardrobe changing. I'm seeing literally you begin, I see a little bit more joy. I see you walking with some different people, with some relationships, and it's going to be a blessing. It's going to be a blessing. God says, I'm getting ready to show you how to live again, because it's like you've been literally on the back burner, and you've just allowed yourself to accept some things. But God says, I'm going to show you how to live again, and you're going to live in me. And God says, you're getting ready to see my joy and my peace, Father, I release the anointing, Father, the anointing for peace, the anointing for strength, even within her family. I speak over her mother right now in the name of Jesus, and I call strength to her body. I call healing to her body. I decree and declare, and I command the blessing to come forth on her body now in the name of Jesus. I say, Satan, you are alive. I speak that you will take your hands off of her mind, that she will not speak, think defeated, that she will not walk in defeat, but she shall stand strong in the power of the Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord God, for anointing and for power in this season. In Jesus' name, I'm going to give you some oil. I'm going to give you a bottle of oil before you leave. I want you to go to your mom. When you go to your mom, I want you to take some of that oil. I want you to put it on her pillow, and I want you to put it on her hands. And I'm telling you, as you begin to anoint her on a daily basis, I'm hearing God say three days, things are going to turn around. She's going to get some strength. And God says she's going to walk out of this thing. She don't have to be concerned of what no diagnosis says. I hear God saying that I am God and I am able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. And all she got to do is trust me in this season. We seal it, we call it done, and we say that it is so in Jesus' name. And these words will not fall to the ground, but you shall see the hand of God move in this situation. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Come on, give God a hand. Thank you.